Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rubia. Hope you're all well. So a little while ago, you may have seen a video I did with Mr. Mikey Demas, who is the guitar player for Skindred, who I'm a huge fan of, have been for years and years. Back in the day, used to listen to Skindred all the time, Roots Rock Riot and all that kind of stuff, and uh, write similar kind of stuff in the band Chasing Jade back in the day. So it's kind of weird that I could consider Mikey a mate now. He's come over, shot videos together and hung out, so it's pretty mental. In any case, you may have seen that video that I did with Mikey talking about his brand new pedal company called Redbeard Effects. And we were looking at the first offering, which was the Red Mist distortion, which was modeled after his sort of favorite type of distortion tones in a box. Firstly, the pedals look awesome. They sound really good. Uh, and one of my favorite features is that when you buy one of their pedals, it comes in, this is so cool. It comes in a coffee bag. So you get this little Redbeard coffee bag that it comes in, which I just think is just genius packaging. Really like that. Um, anyway, we checked out the Red Mist and I did a demo on my channel and now we're leading up to NAMM show 2020 and he got in touch and said, hey man, I've got a new pedal, you want to try it out? Uh, of course, you know, firstly because he's a mate, secondly, I like the pedals, I like the way they look, I like the brand, so I thought, yeah, I'll give it a go. And the best bit is that it turns out to be uh, a brand new pedal called the Honey Badger and it's an octave fuzz. So if you know anything about me and my channel and the kind of tones I like, I love fuzz, I love octave. So the same, uh, the two sounds in one pedal, I was like, what's not to like about that? Definitely over trying it out. So today we're looking at the brand new Redbeard FX Honey Badger. As you can see on the close up, follows the same footprint as a Red Mist, sort of similar layout completely. Um, but of course this is a fuzz and an octave. From top left, uh, we've got volume, then we've got something called divide, and then octave. I'll tell you what those do in a minute. And then along the bottom, you've got treble, bass, and fuzz. You've got two switches, one to engage the effect, one to engage the octave. First things first, the type of fuzz, to my ear, is your kind of germanium slash fuzz face, like intense, kind of awesome, great for lead, all that kind of stuff. Super, just balls out, you know? Sounds like the speaker's breaking. So I love that. But the octave, basically, you've got control of the blend of the octave highlighted top right, you should be able to see that. Um, now that obviously blends in the amount of octave in the signal provided you've engaged it. The divide uh, control essentially moves between two different types of octave mode. So in the pedal, in the Honey Badger, you've got minus four octaves, which is mental low, and then you've got minus two octaves. So the divide at 12 o'clock is kind of a bit of both. All the way to the left is minus four octaves, and all the way to the right is minus two. So you're basically getting tons of sub-octave uh, information in there, which is firstly gonna sound really intense, especially with the fuzz. Uh, it'll work and the tracking will probably be clearer higher up the neck you play because it's such a low amount of octave to add to the signal. Either way, there'll be tons of cool sounds you can get out of this. My uh, assumption is this is gonna be balls to the wall, erratic, intense noise in a good way. Want to get stuck in? I'm going to be using my VX100 on a light, tiny bit of crunch, running into the Universal Audio Oxbox, captured with the Universal Audio Apollo X8P Logic. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've got my Fender Custom Shop Double Esquire Special, in other words, Tele, uh, running straight into the VX on a, on a crunch. And yeah, the, any reverb you hear is the plate reverb coming from the Oxbox. So this is what we've got. Anyway, that's how it sounds. So looking at the close-up, everything's at 12 o'clock, so I'm just gonna go ahead and have a listen. Here we go. Well, that sounds great. That's straight into the kind of fuzz sound that I'm into. It's definitely got a fuzz face thing when you're playing low down. Oh, 
Oh, that's just awesome. And that's everything at 12 o'clock. So let's try the EQ. Oh, this is awesome. Right, less treble. I'd say that's still usable. Right, treble on full. Awesome. Okay. Low end. I mean, that EQ, I must admit, I'm surprised. Not because I didn't think it would do it, but like, you know, turning it all the way up and down, still usable sounds, different flavors. So hats off to that, well-tuned EQ. Fuzz, obviously that controls the amount of fuzz, so let's back it off first, see if we can get a bit of a silicon Velcro vibe going on. Okay, so all the way off, you still got a fuzz vibe. To take it out, back in, but obviously, obviously it's designed to just get mental from there, so three quart. One extremely odd and unnecessary note in there, but either way, I mean, with the fuzz all the way up. So that was everything in terms of EQ and fuzz. Obviously, volume controls the overall level. Of course, in front of a crunch, it's just going to push harder. So uh, let's try that. So demonstrating it there, like you can get tons more out of a fuzz pedal, any fuzz pedal, but in, in this case, the Honey Badger, by using the volume control to hit the front end harder of your amplifier, especially if it's not clean. Because then you're driving the characteristics of the front end of the amp a bit more, it's gonna blend a bit more with the sort of the, the, the sound of the pedal. One thing you may have noticed as well is I backed off the gain quite a bit for that. That's because normally when you're pushing so much, especially fuzz, you get tons of low and it can get really flubby. So back it off if you're driving the front end of your amp harder and you'll find that you'll be able to compensate for that low end. Either way, 
running the bass nearly off, the fuzz on nearly full, and the level of the effect of the pedal nearly full. I'm getting a really nice, nice amount of sustain and a great fuzz tone. So it's versatile. The EQ is versatile. So so far, I'm into it. So of course, let's move on to the key feature of this pedal, the octave. Okay, so I've decided to swap guitar to my Strat. This is the 61, because um, the bridge pickup's sick. So let's see what we had. Sounds wicked. For the sake of experimentation, let's put everything back to 12. So, strap, crunch with the fuzz engaged. Sounds disgustingly good. Now, let's throw on the octave. So this is octave blend at halfway and the divide control at halfway, meaning it's a bit of both. It's a bit of uh, minus four and minus two. Oh, that's a cool sound. Not kind of what I expected, but at the same time, it sounds really good. So what we'll do is we'll start by going minus two, just, just for the sake of ease and boosting the blend, backing off the, uh, the bass a bit. So this is what we've got. So you can clearly hear the octaves working there. The tracking is interesting, I'd say because it's a fuzz and an octave built in, like I'm not sure the order of which way it works, but you can hear it dropping in and out with the tracking. That being said, I'm not sure if it's necessarily aimed for that kind of perfect tracking. I mean, speaking to Mikey, he was talking more about it just being a crazy sounding pedal. The thing I like is when you're playing up in the higher register, you get these like supportive notes with the octave, which I think sounds really cool and it would work obviously for fat riffs. So let's bunch it up. I'm gonna bring it down. This is the lower two octave lower four octave. <laughs> That tracked a lot better than I expected, considering we're talking minus four octaves, as well as minus two. To be honest, it's closer to the four there, but it sounded really cool. It's kind of got this cool synthy effect going on, a bit mogi kind of thing. Let's just, for the sake of it, just go mental. There you go, there is a look at the Honey Badger from Redbeard Effects. In a nutshell, it's a fantastic sounding fuzz. It's like a germanium sort of fuzz face inspired sound to my ear, which I'm all about. That's definitely the kind of realm of fuzz that I like. Um, the octave, uh, originally I thought we were talking octafuzz like Tavio, like the upper kind of sound. But actually having a lower octave in the box to mix with fuzz is something I do a lot. I would say that 
To get that perfectly tracked so you can play lots of fat riffs with the lower octave, the Honey Badger probably wouldn't do that, but what it does do is give you this really intense sort of messed up kind of modulated octave sound that can be really cool for higher register riffs, cool effects, cool lead sounds, like your Jack White kind of like, even the Mark Littieri kind of stuff has some of that in there. Um, Basically, it's a great fuzz with a cool effect that can get you some really intense sounds. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, and that's the kind of thing you're up for, and you like the sound of this pedal, then I'll put a link in the description box below and you can check it out for yourself. But yeah, thank you very much to Redbeard Effects for sending this over. Thank you, Mikey, um, for asking me to do this. Best of luck, as always, with Redbeard Effects, and I'm so proud of you for being able to do this as a mate. It's really cool to see. In any case, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all very soon.